in Joshua 1.8. Let's read Joshua 1.8. Okay, Joshua 1.8. Say here. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate it day and night. So that, listen, you may be careful to do everything written in it. And this is the promise of the Lord. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. That's the promise of the Lord. Hallelujah. You're gonna be prosperous and successful. Amen. Amen. That's the instruction of the Lord. Only the instruction of the Lord you have to do. We have to do only the instruction of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Take the story of the centurion. The story of the centurion. With great faith. It is where you can found in Matthew 8, verse 8. He said, <coughs> because his servant is sick, he is he's dying. Mm -hmm. His servant is sick. He is dying. The centurion said, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. But just say the word. Just say the word. Hallelujah. The word. And my servant will be healed. Amen. If you don't know the word of God. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I'm sorry. If you don't know the word of God. I know Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, I you. We could see how significant and important the word to know the word of God is. The Lord will never say no. The Lord will never say no. Why? Because he had promised in the, in the Bible. He already made the promise to you and me. Amen. Amen. He will never say no to you. Through his words, which will accompany it by by what? A big strong faith. Amen. A big strong faith. I think the centurion, the story of the centurion, there's no need for Jesus to come to his house. And touch his servant. Lay his hands on the, on the servant to be healed. But the centurion needs only, needs only the word. Hallelujah. He just need only the word. Amen. Amen. That's how important the word of God is. He is the Lord that filled thee. Yes. Amen. In Exodus 15, verse 26, <coughs> he is the Jehovah Rophi. Amen. Amen. And there's a song. Says there, I am the God that filled thee. I am the Lord your healer. Yes. I sent my words. Yes. <laughs> I sent my words. Yes. And healed your disease. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. He sent his word to heal our disease. Yes. Diseases. Amen. <clears throat> this show. The word of God is powerful. Amen. In James 5, 16. The prayer of the righteous man availed much. Powerful and effective. Amen? The prayers can move mountains. There's no impossible to God. Easy. Very easy. But accompanied by a strong faith. Mark 11 verse 34. And our conclusion... God don't like us to suffer. God never never wants us to, to suffer. Or He doesn't want you to be sick. No. Or any hardship. No. Or impoverished life. God, that, God doesn't like that. 
Amen. The Lord wants us to be healthy, prosperous, in third gentle. Amen. What is that he says there? Third gentle. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that may go well with you. Amen. Even your soul is getting on well. Amen. 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 The Lord wants us to be perfect from head to toe. Amen. 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 But it should be proportional. It should be proportional. All balance. Our Father, again, this is the verse of my father, my late father. If it is proportion, your head is not bigger than your, your tummy. Yeah. No. Amen? No. Your head is bigger than your tummy. Or your feet. <laughs> it's much longer than your legs. No. That is not proportion. Ah. That is not proportion. The Lord wants us to be perfect. Just claim that we are victorious. Amen. We are more than conquerors. You can you can see that in First Corinthians chapter 15, 57, and Romans 8, 31 to 39. Amen. And by his stripes we are already healed. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53. Verse 5. And it's Isaiah 4.10. So do not fear, says the Lord. For I am with you. Amen. I am with you. Do not be dismayed. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. And help you. And I will uphold you. With my righteous right hand. Amen. 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 If you don't want to be healed completely and make your life change for the better, if you want to be like that, claim what He had promised you. Amen. In John 15 7, Amen. like our senior pastor told us, Jesus said, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you. Ask what you will. Ask what you wish. Ask what you wish. And it will be done unto you. But remain in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Remain in His words. Amen. You can remain in these words. The whole Bible. Brothers and sisters. And in John 4, 16, verse 24, Jesus said, Until now, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Why Jesus told that? Why Jesus told that? Until now. Because they're not claiming the words of God. That's why. Until now. If you don't know the word of God, Jesus will never ever answer. Because he didn't promise that. Yeah. <laughs> Ask. And you will receive. And your joy will be complete. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what a promise. Again, based on with what we had what he had promised to you. And in John 14, 14, Jesus again said, you may ask for Anything in my name. Yes. And I will do it. This is Jesus. Ask him what you are wishing for. Through his name. Amen. Because in, in John 14, 6, Jesus said there, I am the way, the truth, and the, the, truth and the life. Amen. No one comes to the Father <laughs> except through him. Amen. Amen. Except through Him. Hallelujah. Expect and expect great miracles in your life in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Jesus' name. <laughs> Jesus told us there, Call unto me! And I will answer thee. Hello. Hello, Jesus. I'll, I'll show you great and unsearchable things. You do not know. Amen. All you have to do is call. Amen. How do you call? By praying and claiming the word of God. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Let us bless our